Hi guys, welcome to this uh, short video about uh, setting iFly 737 for a quick approach. So we make sure we have iFly 737 as the aircraft, we select the airport, so Zurich, we check the data, then uh, select the runway, let's pick up the ILS-14 which is the runway news almost every day in Zurich, and now we want to do a 4 miles funnel, so it's not in a quick set, so I'm going to go in the menu here and we're going to type in O14 oh, is a bit too much, 4 miles, enter, and here this is the glide path, 3 degrees. If you fly London City it will show 5.5, .5. it shows the actual ILS glide slope. So now we are ready, 4 miles, we click the weather, and we are going to check the weather in Zurich right now, and we can take the latest here. Just to make it quick, the wind is quite calm, 4,500 meters, minus 1 degrees, and the QNH, look at the QNH 1035, it should be set automatically for you in the iFly. We will check that in a few seconds. All set here, so we send the weather, and finally the only thing we have to do is click Move Aircraft. Alright, now we are in the sim, pay attention to your mode control panel and the fuel, all the modes are set for you. The auto brake has been set, the fuel caution is gone as we have, have uh, changed the fuel settings and the aircraft will be ready to fly in a few seconds. So let me show you here, 136, this is the inbound course, here are the speed, BRF plus 5, the heading for the approach, 2700 for 4 miles final and we have the auto brake on 2, the flaps are set, the gear is down. Now FSI panel is uh, monitoring the engine start and is making sure that everything is trained correctly for you. On NAV1 you have the ILS, NAV2 you have the ILS set. If we have a look on the overhead panel, the lights are on, are they supposed to be? This is the fuel pumps which we have to switch off as we had no fuel in the center tank. This was the caution we had at the beginning. The lights are set correctly, so we'll be ready to fly this approach. Aircraft is getting ready here to be nicely trimmed for you. All system check and then FSI panel will tell you to take over control. That's it. Please arm approach whenever you're ready and take over control. So if we look now on the PFD, we see that the speed is 135, exactly what we want. The altitude is at 2700 feet. The FMS, we have here the approach set, flaps, four zero one, f sorry, flaps 40, 130 knots. This is a waypoint which has been created by FSI panel corresponding to the threshold runway 14. And if you go in the path page, you have all the information filled for you, so you can fly. So when you're, whenever you're ready to fly, arm the approach and release the pause. And as you can see, the aircraft will be catching up the glide slope now. We have the second autopilot and we are ready. Glide slope captured. Fully established. Easy. And just on the arm, the speed brake, sorry, and you are all set for landing. All right, approaching 500 feet. 500. One way is in sight. We are all set for landing. And I make an auto land here to make it easy, easy for me. 400. The caution we have now here is the uh, end of the route on the FMS. Minimums. Minimum contact landing. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Flare mode. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Idle. Touchdown. Deploy for reverse. ADR. 
be not out of reverse when you are breaking. And autopilot off coming manual 60 knots. Okay guys, this was a quick video on how to set up a quick approach on iFly 737 with FSI panel. As you see, it's very easy. You can put your aircraft in downwind, base, final, takeoff, position, any position you like. And uh, FSI panel will take care for you. We'll take care of the uh, nav setting of your overhead panel. So uh, as soon as the program tells you to take over control, you can fly the approach or you can fly your airplane in downwind or in base. Thank you for watching and see you next time.